Hello YouTube, I have a little video for you tonight. Uh, I was kind of out and about running around and I came across a little small car show. Uh, please forgive me for sounding like a total idiot because I do not know all the makes and models and or the year models and you know what their car names are. I mean I know like Mustang and stuff like that but you know I don't know all the different variations so forgive me on that one. So uh try to ignore me and just enjoy the cars. <laughs> Stay tuned. The car show comes up next. Okay, guys. <laughs> what you got to realize, I am by far no kind of car expert. I don't know all the year models. I don't know all the names of them. Uh, a few, but not all of them. I just know that this is an older Chevy. Looks like a 50s style, but man, that looks, look at the thing. It is beautiful. Uh, let's see if I can take a peek inside here. For, but look, at the, the interior is just immaculate. I mean, these things are like fully restored beautiful machines and there's quite a few here and uh, kind of kind of might make my way down here uh, this is not one of them this is just somebody visiting but here we have an old Ford Fairlane and uh, I think you all know about the Ford Fairlanes beautiful car Let's see if I can get another peek at the inside here but yes Oh, he's got a little bit of aftermarket stuff in there, but yeah, that's okay. At least I believe that's, you know, I told you I'm no expert. But I just wanted you to guys to, to see this. I mean, look at that engine. Chromed out. 289 cubic inches. V8. Sweet, sweet machine. This is what the muscle cars of yonder year look like. It's nothing like these everything looks alike type cars nowadays. <laughs> But I'm going to step around uh, the owners, and I believe these things are called rat rods. But this is pretty cool. Twin carbs. Pretty sweet. And forgive me if I'm kind of rushing through, but uh, I don't have just a whole lot of time. And then here's a really cool Chevy here. I'm not sure of the year model on it, but... Uh, I like the color of it. It's really cool. I think it's in the 60s. I'm not sure. I wish I could talk more to the car owners. At first, when I pulled up, I thought this was the Corvette Club meeting here. Well, there is a Corvette Club here in my area, and uh, all these Corvette enthusiasts, they meet at certain times of the year, and it's almost like a biker rally, except instead of motorcycles, it's all Corvettes. Now, this looks like a newer model type of Corvette. Uh, very, very nice. I like that port just above the rear wheel there. Uh, sorry, I'm not really objective. Like I said, I don't know much about cars, but I do think they are cool. And then here is another Corvette. Convertible. Take a look at that engine. And, you know, <laughs> like I said, oh, this one's actually for sale. I uh, don't know if I should really uh, show that. Well, hey, you know, it's for sale, so there you go. If you're interested, there you are. It is a Dodge RT. Convertible. So if you're interested in that. Now, here is the one. <laughs> now, you all know I love dragons. I love the grip, the, the phoenix, you know, the bird that raises from in, in flame from the ashes. Well, I love Firebirds, and check this things out. I think he said it was a 64 model, that's what he said. I did talk to the owner just briefly, but check that out. That thing is beautiful. Definitely my type of car. Oh, I love the Firebird. Uh, just, oh wow, check it out. The speedometer, I believe, yeah, no, 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 no. The tag meter RPM is actually on the outside of the car. <laughs> that is cool. I've never seen that before. But yes, the tachometer is on the outside of the car. 
and then here is an older truck. Like I said, guys, I'm no expert. I don't know all the all the year models and such, but this is an older one uh, with the rounded fenders and such. But look at that engine, man. That is just like totally chromed out. That is awesome. A lot of work and care go into these things. A lot of work and care. I don't dare say, now look, look. Sniff, but don't scratch. That's why I don't know again. Sorry about the sirens, people. I, I promise I'm not trying to steal one of these things. They're not after me. Besides, that was a fire truck. But, uh... uh -oh. This is pretty bad. Got another one. Sorry about that, guys, but here is another Mustang. Again, I wish I knew the year models, but I just don't. I just wanted to stop, show you what I'm seeing. I'm by no means an expert, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I got to see today. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to take pictures of these nice cars. I mean, like I said, so much effort goes into keeping these things so pristine. Now, check that Corvette out. That's pretty much the same year model as the other one, I believe. I'm not sure. But it is a newer version. Love the color of that thing. Wow. Very nice. Let's see if we can take a peek inside. Yeah. I will never be able to own a Corvette. I wish I could, but they, they are just way too expensive for me. And then we're going to come up on another Mustang. Now, this guy isn't all chromed out. This looks more stock, like straight stock. So, uh, pretty cool restoration. It is a convertible. Yep. And this looks like just a stock dash. I mean, you don't have like the three gauges at the bottom for like the oil pressure and all that stuff like you see in most of them. Uh, so, this one is pretty much uh, restored to original. Oh, and what I was saying before the sirens and stuff car owners are very touchy about their cars I mean you can look but do not touch one unless they are there and say you can do it uh, this is an older model Corvette uh, really weird lines on it pretty cool oh it's a stingray yes I had a friend that had a 66 stingray and it was red look at the back glass now if that is not original then I don't know where they found it because it's such a weird back glass it's, it's it's all one piece but it's got that curve to it so they're extremely hard to find I know that from my buddy who restored a stingray uh, he sold it for twelve thousand dollars cash first time I ever saw thousand dollar bills but he did I mean it was it was pretty neat and there's its dash this is the Corvette stingray and then these two Corvettes here actually belong to a friend of mine. <laughs> and uh, he's here. Uh, he's down with the owners. Uh, his name is Harold. I've known this guy since I was a kid. And he is a part of the uh, Corvette Club I told you about. But, uh, silver Corvette. Convertible. And uh, I really like this red one here. That is so pretty. Uh, only thing that I hate is that we have to have those stupid front license plates. You know, and a lot of these cars have a nose clip that are, uh, you know, that define the lines of the car. And they have like a plug or something in them that, you know, keep that line. But here in my estate, you got to take that out and then you've got to put in a license plate or they're going to pull you over. Got a 427 in it. And let's see. I'll be right back. I'm going to go to the other side. Okay, now I've come across the street and now I am looking at a Mustang 5.0 GT. And sitting right next to it is uh, its rival. It is a very nice newer model Camaro. Uh, <laughs> and you know, you got all the guys squabbling. The Camaro's better than the Mustang. Mustang's better than Camaro. And they go back and forth. So it's kind of cool to see two of them parked side by side. But. Uh, Again, beautiful machines. These guys take really good care of them. Try to get you a little peek on the inside. Uh, 
like that American flag on the uh, side there. But a very, very nice car. Oh, look, it's even got the uh, shifter, paddle shifter on the steering wheel. Uh, so, looks like this thing may be set up for just a little bit more than cruising around. Now, here is that Camaro. I love the color. I love Camaros. I have been a Camaro person ever since I can think of. I mean, I love Firebirds, too. I'm not trying to contradict myself, but my two favorites are the Camaros and Firebirds. Now, I will tell you a secret. Camaros and Firebirds nowadays or back in the 90s were almost identical except for like a front clip and maybe a little bit of cosmetics on the dashboard because my cousin had a uh, I think I believe it was a 91 Camaro I had a 92 Firebird we parked them side by side and every feature was exactly the same same engine same everything except for the front clip and a little bit of cosmetics on the uh, on the, uh, the dashboard you know the instrument cluster but uh, really cool to see the, the two, Camaro and Mustang, sitting side by side. <laughs> There's a few more up the road here, but, uh, you know, I'll be with you in just a second. Okay, and I'm back, and here is another Corvette. And you see what I mean. Uh, this one, he is not displaying a front license plate. And there should be, like, a little cover there with, like, the uh, Corvette logo, I think. I, I think. Uh, to, to keep that line smooth on the front clip. But another very pretty car. Uh, you know that thing's got an engine because the nose of the car is longer. <laughs> it's the longest part of it. Uh, Two-seater. Yeah, there's the interior. Uh, love Corvettes. Like I said, I'll, I'll never be able to own one, but they are pretty cars. Uh, here's a really, really uh, older Chevrolet Corvette. I mean, look at the license plate. That is so cool. You don't see the license plate that color and, and you know anything that looks like that in these days anymore. But wow, convertible, white, the big old white wall tires. And even back then, 160 on the speedometer. <laughs> Oh man, that's a cool looking car. I love the uh, the metal banding on the trunk. Uh, I hazard to guess the year model of this thing. I would say it was in the 50s. But a uh, very, very nice car. And we have another what I call a rat rod over here. Open engine. <clears throat> Nothing but really just, on a, a, a cab on a chassis with a big old engine in the front. And look at the intake system. It sticks up <laughs> like a tower here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, you can see there's not much to this guy. Two seats. It's just definitely like a home built vehicle here. There's the three gauges for like uh, voltage, oil pressure, and such. The tachometer. Don't see a speedometer on it at all. And he has the steering wheel taken off. And the fuel tank, well, <laughs> it's a keg. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. Back off and get a better look here. And that's about it. About the last car down here is going to be a uh, Volkswagen Beetle. And I'll walk you down through the, to him real quick. And there it is. The front end being the trunk. But it's a souped up little be uh, Beetle there. So that's pretty cool. Get a quick look at the engine here. Looks like he's done some done some work to that to chrome it out a little bit, but uh, pretty neat, pretty neat, and that pretty much does it for the car show down here along the street. Uh, like I said, when I was passing by, I swapped, I, was, I turned around, went home, grabbed my camera. This one, I kind of wanted to share it with you. It was something fun to look at, and. Uh, I appreciate you being with me. Hope the video wasn't too boring and sorry for my lack of expertise, but thanks for tuning in. Stack on, my friends.